quiet kind of that shoulder season where it's warm enough to get out and do a few things but not really warm enough to do fiberglass work or some of those kind of things hard to tell and you know I need to get the divers down clean my shaft and the um, prop up uh, take a look at the bottom evaluate that whether I can get another three or four months before I need to uh, dry haul and paint the bottom you know I main thing with the prop is you know I just don't want to overstress the engine when I'm going somewhere and I need the engine especially like in docking and pulling away and have that high efficiency of the prop working for you covered in barnacles it's just not in the, in the cards so yeah I getting a few projects done around the house so that when it is time to go sailing I got those things out of the way got my garden started in uh, the guest bedroom growing some plants there get the rototilling the uh, soil for the for the garden itself but then here on the boat uh, I've been wanting to move my VHF radio for some time now the way I had it mounted here you know on the side where to read it you kind of have to go like this it, it's, it's difficult to change channels and see what's going on with it and pick the right functions so I decided to take it out of there now I know there's another hole in the boat I got a patch but that whole electrical panel it probably won't be this summer but maybe in the in the fall I'm gonna redo that whole reorganize that whole thing but anyway so I moved the radio to the um, uh, cabin uh, to the so I attached the radio to the hard headliner that I installed a couple of years ago and that really works much better to see and use the radio the most difficult part was, and really that wasn't that difficult, was, you know, I had to unhook everything to move it, and that meant undoing the wires from the VHF to the GPS for AIS. But I had my book from when I did it, you know, what wire, what color wires went to where, you know, green to green, red to blue. Um, and went yellow to some anyway I had all that there so it didn't take long to do worked out really well the other thing that I've been talking about doing is adding an access hatch to my uh, anchor locker you know instead of just shoving the chain and the road down the um, chain pipe which you know if you're pull, doing 80, 100, 110 feet. That's arduous feeding that down there. This way I can feed it in with one hand, pull it with the other. Works a lot better. And that was a pretty easy install. But I, I didn't realize my deck was as thick as it was. Now it may not look real thick to you on the camera. And it's um, 7 eighths of an inch in most of that is fiberglass. There's a little bit of marine grade uh, plywood here and then just, you know, coating here. But that was a lot tougher to saw through than I thought it was going to be. When I started that with the um, jigsaw, and a jigsaw was having trouble getting through this. But it's good to know what your uh, deck is made out of, right guys? So now I've got that, and then here you see this little cable goes up to the uh, removable deck cap, and I'm going to attach that to one of these bolts so that if I just left it where I opened it up and set it on the dock, as clumsy as I am, I'd probably kick it overboard. So now I've got the swivel on that, take that off. I'm not going to lose the top, so I don't want to be going around with a five-inch hole in the boat, in the deck of the boat. Well, 
But guys, it is really getting pretty out. I mean, today it's almost seven. It's over 70 degrees. Tomorrow going to be 80. I mean, here we are at the end of March, and we're getting that kind of weather. I'm sure it's going to cool off again later, but still, that's pretty good. My big thing now is I'm anxious for the marina to get the water on. I thought it was going to be on by now. I got to clean this boat up, clean these lines up, get everything ready to go. You know, I'm going to start sanding all of the uh, wood to put a new coat of uh, varnish on that. Get the boat looking good. Boat's been running great. So, next thing we need, get the bottom cleaned up, the prop cleared up go sailing. Well, until next time, guys, happy and safe boating to you, your family, and friends.